are now. You are now watching Gotham Galleria. My name is Lita Sobieraisky. Hey Lita, where are you from? I'm from upstate New York. Okay, what are you doing in New York City today? I'm an artist with my husband. Oh, cool. All right, you look amazing today. I love your overall look. So let me ask you, what's your overall fashion inspiration? Uh, overall, I'm very inspired by, I guess, more avant-garde style. Uh, very much like Pope uh, Garçon, Ray Kawakubo, Ginyo Montanabe, Noir K. Nomiya, also Polito Ballmeister. Um, I love really crazy silhouettes. Of course, in hotter weather, it's kind of hard to achieve that. Yeah. Uh, but things that are very dramatic and architectural. So a lot of Japanese designers. For sure. What? How did you get into it? Uh, I guess I was an admirer from afar. Uh, it's not entirely my industry, but a, a neighboring industry, and so I always look at it for inspiration. So can we start off with the tabbies? Sure. Uh, I wear a lot of tabbies in a lot of different uh, forms. These are from Sui Cook. Uh, awesome. And then this is a tunnel dress from Please Please Isemeyake. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a, a Prada bum bag and also Prada sunglasses, which I'm, I love. Uh, and then a Marameco hat. If I could, I'd be wearing like a big wool skirt from Comme des Garçons. I just bought like a, a long sleeve top. Not appropriate for this weather whatsoever. Do you have an Instagram you want to share with us? Yeah, it's Lita Sobieraisky. Uh, my name's Wade Jeffrey. Wade, where are you from? Uh, originally Melbourne, Australia, but uh, now an American dual citizen. Okay, what do you do? I'm an artist. You're an artist? What kind of art? Uh, a mixed bag. Uh, sculpture, design, painting, installation, mixed bag. You look great today. I stopped your wife a little while ago. You guys have very similar outfits, but she's very like dark. And you're very eye-catching and colorful. Could we walk through your, your outfit piece by piece first? Oh. Let's start off with the shoes. So, uh, whenever I'm wearing something colorful, or I like to keep it quite simple. I mean, my socks are always odd pairs because I always have a lot of different types of socks. So I just throw, put my hand in the bucket and put them on. <laughs> uh, and then the rest of the outfit is pretty much the same Nyake. Um, please, please. Just because okay. it's hot here and my wife and I wear it whenever it gets hot. Fanny bag? Uh, just a Patagonia I've had forever, it's been through me, with me through everything really. And then your your sunnies? And then my, uh, I call these the speed dealers, my Oakleys, just because I can run in them. They've got these cool, cool little uh, interchangeable parts. So if you're wearing a mask, you can wear them and the breeze will still get in. So your, your glasses won't fall down. Oh cool, what a yeah. cool design feature. Yeah. What got you into these Japanese designers? Uh, I think it's always been about sort of an overarching concept. A lot of the Japanese designers we love, uh, there's a core brand sort of ethos or challenge within what, how they design, what they're designing, and I think for us that's what's most important is this iterative kind of concept and design idea that can last forever, be timeless, but also be contemporary. Again, very weather appropriate. Totally. Gotta keep it breezy. Yes. Yeah. All right. Do uh, you have an Instagram you want to share? Yep, it's just my name, Wade Jeffrey. Antonio? Antonio, where are you from? Uh, I was born in El Salvador. I live in Queens. You live in Queens? What part of Queens? Sunnyside. You look great. Thank you. A very, very, very unique vibe. Thank you. Okay, what do you do? I do, uh, actually, I, I'm a vintage clothes dealer and we have a store on 9th Street Vintage. That explains, so I quoted you as a rockabilly, yeah. quote unquote, w would you, is that fair to say? Uh, I mean, I, I do I influence my 50s and 40s looks, but I mix it up, you know, like, I was like more like, yeah, my influence more like the Clash, I would, you know, get an influence from the 50s and rockabilly. But kind of like a 70s interpretation of that, you know, like punk rockers jumping in the 70s for like old vintage pieces. What is it about vintage that you like? Oh, uh, this unique that I deal with a lot of super rare pieces and they're very collectible. And a lot of stuff is really collectible in Japan. It goes for a lot of money. And, also, and I like to find it for really cheap. And, and I like to keep it or sell it. So like, I have pieces that I know there, there might be another 10 people in the whole world and 
you know, got pieces that are like super rare, you know what okay. I mean? Like this like 80s Little Richard t-shirt that came out with the book when Little Richard um, got his biography out in the early 80s. And you don't see this t-shirt a lot. You, you see never that see them. You never like see them. What about your scarf? Is that vintage as well? Yeah, it's all like, it's all like 1940s. Made in the USA like, stuff, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, bandana, like indigo, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then the pants? The pants are seven, uh, 60s Lee. Lee's, okay. Yeah. And then on feet? Oh, these are new, double RL. Okay. Double RL, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And you also have that double RL vibe as yeah, well, yeah, right? Yeah. So, Can you talk about your silver pieces? Oh, well, it's just like some Navajo pieces and some Mexican jewelry, Mexican silver. It's just like American. Where'd you get them from? Uh, everywhere. You know what I mean? I just I go looking for stuff all the time. Okay. My question for you is, uh, what's your favorite vintage store besides your own? <laughs> uh, I like stock vintage. Where's that? It's uh, just like on a few blocks from here on 13th. You have an Instagram you want to share? Yeah. Uh, Data Vintage. Elliot Brickville. Elliot, where are you from? I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Okay. What are you doing in New York City? I'm a model here. I also work as a producer. I live right around the corner. You look great today. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's your overall vibe, like fashion-wise? I would say like a new wavy 80s. I mean, usually I do it up a little bit more, but I'm just coming off work. Okay. But I would say kind of an 80s, an 80s thing. But uh, these pants are actually from a, a place on Orchard Street. I, you can get them dead stock and they tailor them right across the street. Okay. Um, it's a great place. I got these on eBay. They're okay. falling apart, uh, but I love them. And I think this shirt is my boyfriend's. Yeah. I, and I love that belt. Where's that belt oh, from? It's a Alberas. Um, I believe it, it's 14 karat plated. No way. Pretty cool, but I got that Baller, on Baller, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and the sweat stains are, you know. Can you talk to us about um, your jewelry pieces? Oh yeah. Actually, this is um, an antique Victorian fob locket. It's a uh, onyx on this side and carnelian on this side. And then in here, it's a, I have a picture of my boyfriend. He's not dead. It looks like he's dead. And those are the first flowers that he gave me. Aww. Uh, all of these rings, this is my grandfather's class ring. And these were my grandmother's. Um, grandma and grandpa got divorced. They hate each other now, but they still live on these uh, hands. What else? I think that's it. That's, that's it. Love, love it. And um, you have an Instagram you want to share? Yeah, it's a dove mother. Brendan. Hey Brendan, where are you from? I'm from uh, New Jersey. New Jersey. What are you doing in New York today? I'm uh, just walking around with my girlfriend. Cool. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, I'm a musician. Okay, what do you play? Uh, guitar. Guitar? What's the name of your band? Brainwashed Youth. But you have a very unique look. Today everybody's all like colorful. And then I see you. <laughs> so I had to stop you. So what's your overall vibe? I guess punk. Um, what got you into it? Uh, it's kind of always stuck out to me politically wise and like, you know, I'm not very rich <laughs> and so, you know, that's something I vibe with. Well, let's start off with the docks. What's the significance of the, the green laces? Uh, I thought they looked cool. So oh, that's it? <laughs> Pure aesthetics, yeah? And then the necklace here? Go off eBay. Okay. Did, did you do this yourself? Oh yeah, I did this all myself. These start to fall apart, but... <laughs> So. All right, let me take a look at this side as well. All right. Let me see your hat as well. Did you do this as well? Oh yeah, I did this all. Oh, cool. So, the whole punk aesthetic is like a lot of DIY, yeah? Yeah, DIY. All right. Awesome. Got a bunch of jackets at home too, obviously too warm for that. Yeah. You have an Instagram you want to share with us? Oh yeah, it's uh, Life and Grave. Uh, my name's Krishana. Krishana? Krishana, yeah. where are you from? Oh, I live around here. Around here? Yeah. Okay, great. You look great. Well, thank you. What do you do? I'm into culinary stuff and like that. Culinary stuff. Okay. So you want to be a chef? Do you? What's your favorite cuisine? Uh, I like Jamaican food. Jamaican food? Yeah. Favorite dish to cook? I like to cook breakfast. You looked great today. I had to stop you. What's your overall fashion inspiration? Um, I don't know, there's like a kid in my school who like, she, she her, her outfits was like always so good. And like, that inspired me to like come out as myself and like dress 
great. But what's the inspiration behind today's outfit? Uh, I don't know. This is something to throw on. Do you have an Instagram you want to share? Sure. 